Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Talk Bricks. Michael here, and I'm so excited to bring you guys my first LEGO City review. It's very surprising that I haven't reviewed anything from LEGO City, but I don't usually focus on this line. But this set piqued my interest, mostly because of the all new wheelchair piece, as well as the new baby piece. For those of you who aren't familiar with this set, this set is set number 60134, Fun in the Park City People Pack. This set has 157 pieces, 15 minifigures, and retails for $39.99. I was able to find this set early at my local Toys R Us store, so take a look. The bags for this set are organized into three sections, and it depicts a fun day at the park full of all assorted minifigures of different ages who are all doing different activities in the park. Let's start with bag number one. The first minifigure you guys will be excited to see in this one is the character that's in a wheelchair. This character has a really nice smile, a gray beanie, as well as a light gray hoodie with a red shirt underneath. This is an all new piece for the wheelchair and it even includes some new wheels. This is a really well thought out design with room for one minifigure and room for one minifigure to hold on the handles at the back. You can even push the minifigure along and all of the wheels will rotate smoothly. And here's a quick shot of the minifigure from the back. Next up, we have this simple merry-go-round build and I especially like the green base that it sits on. And of course, you can spin it. This minifigure of a boy has a smile on one side and a frown on the other side. You can see he's got a nice bright blue sweatshirt and I really like the green shirt underneath. He's got these short tan legs and a nice blonde hairpiece. And from the back, we can see the continuation of the print. Also included in this bag is a hot dog vendor with a hot dog stand. As we zoom in, we can see the ketchup and mustard pumps, as well as a full hot dog in that new bun piece. The whole top of the cart can be lifted up to reveal the reservoir of hot dogs beneath. And the hot dog vendor can use this clip piece to act as tongs. I really like his face with the mustache and especially that hat piece. You can see that he's got a great print of a chef's jacket, and as we look from the back, we can see a continuation of that print. A staple of any park is people riding their bikes. Here we can see a standard Lego minifigure bike in red with a nice yellow piece for the headlight. Also included we have a small tree. The minifigure has a big smile and a nice athletic wear with that lime green accent. As we can see from the side, he's got a white bike helmet for safety, and from the back, just a simple continuation of the print from the front. The last part of this bag is a businesswoman waiting at the bus stop. The bus stop sign is a clipped on piece, and it's actually a printed piece, which is wonderful. The businesswoman has a great face with those glasses, and I especially like the print of the business suit on the front. She carries a briefcase in brown, and from the back we can see this amazing hairpiece that has a nice wrapped up design. And here we have bag number two. First up, we have a nice old couple sitting on the park bench. We also get a set of pink flowers, which he might give to her as a gift. Each minifigure has a really nice look with that unique sweater print with a shirt underneath. They each have glasses, and I really like the hairpiece on the female figure. We don't always get a great assortment of older minifigures, so these are a real treat. And from here, we can see a great continuation of that printing from the front. Next up, we have a pair of children playing soccer. Here we can see a windshield piece used as a small goal and a white soccer ball. Both of these figures have really great torso prints, and I especially love the accented details that we can see of the cat face and the space logo. From the side, we can see the boys wearing a hat and the girl has a nice short haircut. And both minifigures feature great printing on the back. Finally, we have a painter painting a white picket fence. Also included for this scene is a small bucket for the paint, though it really should be a tray with a roller piece like that. The minifigure has a sweet smile, and I really love all of the paint splotch details on the torso and all over the legs and feet. From the side, we can see her ponytail, as well as her accessory, which is a paint roller with some white paint. And from the back, we can see some more great paint detail. And finally, bag three. First up, we have the all new baby in the stroller and a mom. It's great to get the mom with this fun hair piece, and I really like the purple cardigan print. From the side, we can see the main accessory piece, which is a bottle piece, and you can see how she can hold onto the stroller, which has an overall interesting construction. This minifigure features an alternate face expression with some sunglasses, and she can hold the baby by using the anti-stud on the bottom. The baby minifigure piece has a really interesting construction with this two-part design. The head is able to spin around and features a cute little face. Next up, we have a great picnic table for our family to eat at. On either side, there's studs to help the minifigures attach, and we even have a picnic basket piece. The minifigures feature great torso prints with a flannel print on the left and a great sweatshirt print with that star t-shirt underneath. 
From the side, we can see each of their accessories, which is a croissant and an apple. And again, there's more great printing on the back. Finally, we have someone maintaining the park with a lawnmower. The lawnmower has a simple design that allows a minifigure to push it, though the wheels cannot turn. Also included for this scene is another small tree and this great new print for a German Shepherd dog. The landscaper minifigure features a familiar overall design with some flannel underneath. Her hairpiece features a long ponytail, and from the back we can see a great continuation of the overall printing from the front. The back of the box and the instructions stress that these are just minifigure pieces, and you can rearrange them to create all different assorted figures. And here we have everything back together for my final thoughts. This set really provides a lot of fun. All of these minifigures have unique parts and prints and will provide a lot of fun to play your own scenes out. Plus, you can rearrange these and put them all over your town and your mocks. Lego really made it a point to give us quite a variety. We've got tons of male and female characters, some old, some young, and all sorts of situations that might exist at the park. The baby minifigure is a really nice addition, but I'm really proud of the Lego company for taking the time to create a minifigure in a wheelchair to help represent all sorts of people that play with their toys. But those are just my thoughts about the set, and I'd love to hear yours in the comments down below. Let me know, which of these minifigures was your favorite, and will you be picking up the set? And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time we've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Click on this annotation to learn all about Green Arrow and Supergirl coming to LEGO Dimensions. And don't forget to subscribe.